Today, I'm reviewing reviews on Dragon Ball Legends, and we'll be saying whether they're valid or not valid. From reviews that actually praise the game to reviews that call it complete garbage, let's see what people have to say about Dragon Ball Legends. Let's start on a positive note. A seriously good game. Five stars, by the way. This game is purely amazing. I'm a vet, as I've been playing since right before the second anniversary event. Now, some of you guys might go, <clears throat> that's actually not that long. We're approaching six years on this game that is a very long time to be playing any game and i can say from first-hand experience that this game has some of the simplest yet most satisfying gameplay i've ever seen on a mobile game so far i'm gonna say valid i've said this multiple times i think if you're not fighting for top 1000 which is what i think a lot of the times i see criticisms over this game are is like people fighting the same teams because everyone's running the same meta teams because they're trying to get god rank trying to get that shiny little you know thing next to their name you're not that guy i think if you're not in that meta you're not worrying about the top tier stuff this game offers really good gameplay and i just don't know i know they gave it god rank for those the top echelon to want to fight for but i don't know they developed this they ever meant for it to be as competitive as some people make it so i think for me and some of my IRL friends that still play that hang out in the 50s and the 60s and sometimes get to be r70 but don't worry about the top 1000 it's perfect never seen the controls on this game bugged and it seems unhackable okay whoa <laughs> okay we were we were going real good until then it's definitely hackable draws lag switching you can definitely cheese this game unfortunately next people complain about chrono crystal prices and while i do sometimes find myself wanting a chrono crystal package yet not buying it because of expenses grinding crystals is actually not hard <laughs> they said it so we are gonna think this is an industry plant type thing bro and maybe it is but i i do agree i don't think sometimes it's bad sometimes it is bad i will i will agree and it is worth noting this was posted on november 22nd so this is around legends fest where the game is most generous for sure but this game does be giving out just a ton of cc and the cells are insane if you do want to spend just like a little bit of money on the game purely doing the story at this point in the game if you complete the whole thing you should have at the very least 25,000 chrono crystals okay to be fair though that's not that that's a lot but not a lot for completing the entire story there are also a few gimmicks you can use to get easy crystals such as soul boosting uses characters non-stop for every 100 soul boost you get it's 10 crystals i believe you can get about 800 soul boost per character i think also we sometimes have events where you can go into pvp and earn a certain reward when you get 40 of this random reward you can go to the exchange shop and get 100 crystals you can do this three times resulting in 300 crystals okay well, this is starting to, they really had me at the beginning this really is starting to feel like some sort of like bandai plant right it's just like let's talk up the game let's really go into detail about how exactly you can get free to play crystals because everyone always talks about how like not free to play friendly this is well, one thing that slight okay here we go here we go here we go uh, a, a critique the one thing that slightly annoys me is that if you don't have the newest ultra character you have a greatly decreased chance of winning unless you're a master at the game i still don't agree with that by the way at all i think that this game is very very solid at balancing legends limited characters with ultras even right now we have a brand new ultra golden frieza in the game and i actually still think i would rather fight frieza over a really good super 17. i think that's where i'm at personally I, they're very very even they're very close but a legends limited that is now two months old versus an ultra that is like a week and a half old you know other than that this game is amazing and I recommend it to any Dragon Ball fans looking for a mobile game. I will say this. I've, I've been on record to say this multiple times. I do think if you are completely new to the landscape of Dragon Ball mobile games, as act like there's a ton of them, there's two official. I think Legends is the one I would recommend someone to get into. I think it is much easier to get into. I've seen people say it isn't, but I'm like, if you think Legends is difficult to get into, then what Then what about Dogon? Like Dogon's learning curve and the collection aspect is such a huge steep that I wouldn't even want to attempt that in nowadays. I really don't think I would. Many people have said, no, you should start a new account and do like a new account video. I'm good. That sounds terrible. I would much rather do that on Legends than on Dogon. I think Bro got lost in the sauce in the middle a little bit. Really felt like a, a plug more than anything. But I will say, for the most part, I agree with a lot of what they said. So we'll say this one is valid. Ooh, we have us a five-star review here that says, you should like the video. What? That's great that's crazy they said that man all right so the last review was from november of last year this review is from literally sunday of last week one star review so bad from himothy jones the first immediately calls out toshi toshi ruined this game because it's so trash one he's a money hungry man bro like i swear he has taken all the fun and filled it with rage inducing garbage like i swear how are you going to give us a new unit then give us no way to get chrono crystals like are you dumb and i'm telling you he's making a red unit who's weak to blue good enough to beat every single blue in the game 
Like, it's not fair. And then when he drops a unit that is blue, it's going to be the best thing in the game. And then it's going to be a cycle. All right, so out of the gates, kind of spitting. That's kind of how these games work. Let me just be totally honest with you guys. They sell you a problem. Then they sell you a fix to said problem. Then they sell you another problem, right? Especially this whole wheel rotation thing of like, you know, purple starting against green, green starting against blue, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It is a never ending cycle of now one typing gets buffed. One typing character feels really strong and then they reverse it and give it to this typing and that typing. Although right now we've been really red heavy. It's been really red dominant for a hot minute, right? We went from Beast Gohan at Legends Fest immediately into this Super 17 post Legends Fest and red has just felt like it's very dominating now for about like what, half a year? But yes, what Timothy Jones said here is realistically speaking how this game works. I will say, let me just be on record saying it sucks for Toshi because Toshi is like the face of the game for most people. And so when it's peak, it's like, yes, Toshi did it. He won. Well, then when you're pissed off, you're like, Fuck you, Toshi. So it's like, <laughs> he can't win, right? As much as I imagine Toshi has a lot of say over the game, he's not the end all be all. Like it is a team of people that are working on it. So probably has a good weight to the things he wants to do in the game, but he's not the person that just probably is like responsible for everything you love or everything you hate about the game. So Toshi catching strays here, not, not totally fair. Two, what is wrong with the odds of getting something good? Like if I had a dollar for every time I got shafted after spending money, I would be a millionaire. How in the world is it that the main unit somehow has a higher chance of being pulled and it, I still get 20 of the other units before getting it? And sometimes you just don't get it at all. This is why I'm glad the game has pity, but I wish the pity was better. By no means do I think Legends Pity is great. It could definitely be better. I think if anything, if they just shaved it by even 10 to 15 of the required metals, that would make it feel so much better. But I am thankful that it has pity nonetheless because Dokkan has only done that on like one banner. <laughs> Yay. And while they don't do it yet for ultras, I do have to sympathize here because it does suck when you're trying to pull this unit and you just keep pulling LLs that are featured, but you can't pull the new LL or the new ultra. So honestly, still pretty valid so far. Although I will say the amount of times you got shafted to become a millionaire. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that because... I don't know. I just don't think the logistics work there, you know? Three, I miss the old legends. Back when there were multiple units that were at the top that could beat one another. But no, it's so bad. They used to actually pay attention and not give the craziest kits to each unit. But they do now, which ruin the game. They used to give us like two to 500 for even little inconveniences like bugs. And now they give us slot removers and other trash that no one cares about because it's so easy to get. I still think this game is very generous to CC. Could they be more generous? Always. But what I will say, I still stand by the fact that it's been basically the same cycle forever. Maybe there are a few less meta characters at the moment, but at the same time, I still see videos from creators and I, I've used them recently too. You look at a unit like Ultra Gogeta Blue, who is a year plus older. He's a 2022 unit that is still incredibly viable in the game right now. Again, minus fighting for top 100 and top 1000, you can run a pretty solid plethora of characters and different tags and all of that and it still be viable as long as your skill is at a certain level which is fair to say don't totally agree with that because i've done some fun challenge videos and still gotten wins against very good characters with much older characters it just is what it is i think there were some valid points but i don't think all of it was valid so i don't want to give it a full thumbs up but i'm not giving it a full thumbs down we're going to put it right in the middle but i got where where they were coming from most of the time another recent one and one that i think i'm going to put is valid <laughs> just just looking at the title a cool Whips. One star. Over 100 slot removers on one equipment for it to go from S to A. Please fix this. I'm tired of losing because someone had better luck than me. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it! This game is fun, but it's nothing but a cash grab. All you guys are worried about is making the next broken unit when you have 100 different things to worry about. Unfortunately, yeah, that's just how a gacha game works. But here's the thing. You know what? I have an equipment log that I keep to see how long it takes me to roll on some of the uniques to get that, you know, that final slot that you can't worry about boosting hitting that you just have to get lucky and roll the red slot on it to get the true proper reason why you farmed it to begin with. And I had one of those reach like a thousand plus re-rolls just to get. So I'm going to go ahead and say valid equipment is like the worst thing about this game easily dragon ball legends one star i hope you can add black frieza vegeta ultra ego and new mui goku for the next update spitting valid this one is from three years ago so let's see what they had to say three years ago this when prior to the third anniversary as we approach the sixth anniversary right now it's one of my favorite games but pvp needs to be improved 
four stars. Whenever I play the game, I always enjoy it until I run out of story and events to do. So I grind on PVP, which is exactly what they want you to do, by the way. There's a decent amount of PVE content in this game, but they want you to play PVP. And also asterisks. While they want us to spend a lot of time in these games, I don't know that they dev them with the idea that you're going to be putting like tens or hundreds of hours in these games every month. Like, I don't know that they're necessarily intended for that. <laughs> like when people are like, no content. I'm like, maybe just go play another game, you know? <laughs> I usually always get to rank 50 if I feel like playing that much, but I hardly ever get a game that's not laggy. Ooh, okay. I do feel like that's gotten better over the years. Like, I feel like the lag that I have in games is much less than it used to be. Almost every player I face has bad connection and their loading screen takes too long to load. Not to mention that a lot of times the game will just not react. Whenever I use LF Vegeta or Super Baby 2, wait, what? This, okay, hang on. This is from three years ago. But the cycle repeats itself. What is this, man? That is two of the most recent four characters in the game mentioned. Just, just dropped. But anyway, I digress. Sometimes when I try to switch LF Vegeta out because he's getting Rising Rush, the other character doesn't switch out. And I know I'm not trapped. So Vegeta just has a problem. Super Mario 2 just has really slow vanishing and he attacks really slow for some reason. Okay, wait. It sounds like you're probably still just experiencing lag because the characters don't have like, you know, like that's not a thing that you would experience with characters in this game. That'd be an interesting one though. An agility-based skill or something where the characters attack faster based on their agility level i guess you could just say that's like car draw speed but like literally the the ability to like go forward and tap attack or stuff like that you know it could be based we probably wouldn't want that but like i mean interesting mechanic anyways today i played pvp a lot and there were so many times where the game did not react to my sidesteps or when i pressed a, an arts card okay that's valid though that is valid that still happens to this day there are definitely still unregistered like taps and stuff like that for sure because i've been playing diddy where that'll happen and i know our connection is completely solid and it will just not take my inputs but also as i literally just said I mean, it's, it's mobile game so like is it meant to be it's touch screen mobile game like there's gonna be weirdness it was actually extremely frustrating because the players i played weren't even close to my skill level but were able to either get close to defeating me or actually defeating me and that's so annoying imagine having a laggy game no reacting arts cards and losing to someone that's way worse than you because pvp is flawed i've also met some hackers on the game where if i landed the last blow i would have won but instead they hacked the game and forced it into a draw somehow the game is actually really frustrating sometimes and this needs to be changed okay hang on how legends pilled were you because this does not sound like a review that you would give a game four stars for you know like i'm i'm getting some vibes here that you maybe should have put like at most two I, did this praise it really ever other than the fact that it says it's one of my favorite games and it gave it four stars the entire thing is a complaint <laughs> like the entire thing is like this is why it won't work there's hacking it's missing inputs my characters are slow i, I can't i can't get this valid i enjoyed this review a lot but we can't i can't it just like felt too contradictory like if i was reading this as a two-star review i'd be like yeah okay i have way less liking games so there is that run into way less hackers nowadays but it is still it can still happen here and there actually now i'm saying that it's been a while since i've had a draw no it hasn't it was around legends fest i had a draw and i was recording it and i meant to like do something with it and then i didn't either way i'm gonna give this one not valid because i don't feel like you felt like it was a four star level game like a four out of five game you know i like the title of this one love and hate relationship take note that i said love before hate but every day i'm conflicted on keeping or deleting this game no cap i understand the idea of maintaining the difficulty on getting characters equipment rerolling equipment and everything else i don't understand the idea of that at all i have a question for you guys i wish they would do this but they would never do this is just sell us the characters you you know i think it'd be really really fun to just be able to just buy the character now if you wanted to go the extra level and you can buy the character but then you maybe have to roll for more stars then sure but when you look at the landscape of how many people play dragon ball legends or dragon ball z dokkan battle it's so many more people because it's 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 it can be on pretty much any device right like it so many devices this can be installed on and played versus when you look at a game like fighters universe 2 those games are very much so stuck on a very specific platform now albeit a lot of platforms like xenoverse 2 and fighters are on so many platforms but still when you look at those games i can go buy the you know most recent ssj4 gogeta rest in peace fighters but the most recent ssj4 gogeta on there you know for like what five bucks and so on legends where there's infinitely more players like the player base is so much larger just selling everyone a character for let's say 20 bucks i feel like that would still be very profitable 
so i don't understand the idea of maintaining difficulty on getting characters i know it seems crazy because i'm a summon andy but i do think there's a world where they could just like give you a three star or five star ultra or whatever and then they go here's a banner now if you want to actually increase their stats just throwing that out there i don't i don't agree with that statement but let's see what they have to say here I honestly feel like the game has all its odds against me every time I take a chance, whatever it may be. That, that's relatable though. You know what? Do I just go straight up immediately and say valid? I want to. The last, I don't know. Seven to 12 times of awakened equipment. I pull an E rank. Oh God, that's spitting. Let bro cook. Hang on, wait a sec. Less than 30 minutes. I got two E's, went to re-roll them 53 times each. <laughs> and I can't gain a yellow or red set and percentage gaps as little as 5% to 12%. That's ridiculous 32 times i've summoned on the new banner for the tag ss4 oh we now know when this was written the tag ss4 goku and vegeta plus five guaranteed sparking tickets and i've only summoned him once again ridiculous maybe on the very first banner you drop for a new ll boost his drop chance i've put what some would depict as way too much time especially on a mobile game and i absolutely love this game the best game i've played in my opinion to date whoa. okay whoa. <laughs> I, I love my mobile games. They're not even like in my top five favorite Dragon Ball games, bro. Like I'm picking Budokai. I'm picking Xenoverse. I'm picking, I, honestly, I suck at fighters, but I'm probably picking fighters. I love these games and they are very addicting to like play, but I don't think I'd go as far as say like best game I've ever played. That's, that's crazy. But the defeat I feel when I go as far to spend hard earned cash on your game to get CC just to pull this new LL and I can't even get any LL. It's just truly disheartening. Again, I absolutely love your game but spending money on in-game things is something i've never done i've mocked anyone who i've encountered that have done that just throw me a bone because <laughs> all you throw me in this game are else <laughs> i really don't want to drop off and quit this game but i'm on a slippery slope i hope that you went ahead and you called it if you if you were already like on a slippery slope and you were already like considering it and thinking i should get out i hope that you got out i hope that if any of you guys ever feel that way just get out it's not worth it man i have so many people comment that are still involved in the community and keep up with the kits and watch the youtubers but they they've stopped playing because they they're too tempted and they don't need to be tempted and i'm like and that's that's your best that's your best case if you want to stay tapped into the community there's so many ways to do so without spending your hard-earned cash on it so mine is calling it the best game you've ever played i think that that is there are very few games in my entire lifetime i think that have come close to the amount of hours i put in legends and dogon just because it's so easy to put hours into them i would say for me it'd be like guild wars which is an mmo live service game basically which these are live service games that get updates all the time league of legends another live service game fortnite and maybe some like random fps games from like the early 2000s when i was a kid and i had the time to put those kind of hours into games but yeah i, I would say the closest thing coming to time i have have spent in legends or dokon it's got to be it's only going to be like league of legends guild wars and and a few other things man because the amount of hours i do have in these games is untouchable no other dragon Ball game as many hours as i do for me in dokon and legends screw you toshi one star i spent thirty thousand cc for one ultra and got zero copies this game is a scam <laughs> See what I mean? Like, poor Toshi has nothing to do with that. You know what? I won't speak for him, but I do feel like I I'm sure if there was a way that he could make it to where it's like, we could just buy the characters. I bet you he'd, he'd do it. I think I don't actually know, but <laughs> I feel like he'd be on that side. Horrible. <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. Fix PvP one stars. It is a good game, but the real end game is PvP. And most matches in the higher ranks are filled with people who simply start losing, walk away from their router so it starts lagging, and all you can do is sit helpless and hopefully connection. I'm gonna add for them gets better. But obviously, it only comes back when your opponent starts to combo you. Here's a solution. Here's a solution. Auto win the infill with good connection to stop these people. I am tired of this. I just played five matches in PvP and guess what? Four of them did exactly what I said they had. Perfect connection. Then they combo. But the second I can attack, the connection is non-existent. I've never thought about like, anytime someone starts lagging, I assume two things is happening. Either A, they're about to exit the app or B, they're just straight up hacking. Like I don't really think they're walking away from the router. I've never thought of that. All right, we, we got to kill this part in the video. I can't, you guys can't see this. You guys can't see this. I don't want you to know about the... I don't really know if that would actually work or not, but it's an interesting thought. I never thought of it that way. I think for this one, I'm going to say not valid. I'm going to say not, not valid. Bro, dude, this is crazy. The like Toshi extends so far. I mean, these are just app store views. You know what I mean? He extends so far. I hope Toshi stubs his toe. Bro, release a blue or nerf these stupid uh, units. <laughs> also, who made baby yellow in a red meta? absolutely terrible game don't download a part of me wants to say valid just because i kind of love this comment <laughs>
I'm sorry, Tushy. You know, hopefully you don't stub your toe too hard, but like, valid. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, here we go. This sounds, This I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. The new meta isn't fun anymore. One stars. The recent new units make the game unplayable, especially since you can't use strike arts or blast arts or attack without getting countered by some stupid unique gauge or green card. That's actually fair. Not to mention you barely deal any damage to them once you actually start attacking. This game isn't about who has more skill. It's about who pays the most to get the new units. That's kind of a fair, a fair one right now because, you know, from UI to green, SSA to Gohan to now Frieza with the comeback mechanic, that is just another way to nullifying endurance and nullify, nullify, reviving, like all that stuff, right? It's just a new gimmick that basically makes it to where you don't have to have as much skill like the passive play style of just waiting in the back until you can counter and stuff with the characters that can counter is really really annoying so i don't know if i'd go as far to say it's uh, the one star is truly accurate but i will say i have seen the sentiment a lot right now is that people aren't exactly the biggest fan of where the game is at right this second so i think a lot of people were enjoying it post even with just the UI Goku post Legends Fest, I felt like there was a, there was like a good period there. But right now, yeah, I don't I don't feel like there's a lot of like love for this current meta. When again, you're in like the top 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 echelon. So I will actually give this one. I'll give this one valid. We'll say we'll say valid. This was a very very valid review and actually really well articulated. So I, I, this was a really good review. <laughs> Do not start playing this game. One star review. Okay, here we go. I don't know what D student thought it would be a good idea to further unbalance the PVP, but it's obvious it was done so to encourage you to buy more stuff. Here's a guide to win at the game. One, spend money to get God tier equipment. Two, just wait and vanish, then spam your attacks. Having blast shields used to at least help with the terrible balance of the game, but guess what? You can break those now, so just keep doing step two and you can imagine you can actually have skills in this terribly managed and balanced game. Do not start playing. Valid. <laughs> the, 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 it's pretty, pretty valid. Do you guys disagree? It's amazing, but get ready for heartbreak. Five stars. Huge Dragon Ball fan here. Me too. I played this game since day one. I'm like a pre-beta. No, I'm not pre-beta, but I, well, am I? No, they didn't let me play it pre, but I have played since beta. Highly recommend it because it is a lot of fun at the end of the day. We'll give it five stars. But the reason I warn for heartbreak is because even though I've played since day one and I've gotten at least five of my friends start playing, not a lot of people, but still, Bro needs a friend code, man. Bro needs a creator code. Put, put my code in and you know get, a, get like 10% back, you know? And have invested an embarrassing amount of time into this game. And it has very much given me the short end of the stick on the pulls. I'm a gamer. I do understand RNG. It happens sure I can't help but be a little hurt at the amount of time I've invested and helped to promote the game to be given very poor play <laughs> they do actually mention like listen I got more people in it's a pyramid scheme no it's not. is it it's not it's not I got more people in and this is how you repay me this is how you reward me Toshi I'm surprised the Toshi call wasn't here I got more people to play your game Toshi give me better pools I'm just having fun by the way this is not at any means this isn't to this review I'm just having a little fun Man, I do wish there were creator codes in this game. That would be sick. Use code Nano. Because of how hard I am currently at the luck I've been given, I can't help but complain. However, game still has my intention and grind. Amazing game, but just like luck, you may be given the short end of the stick. Just hold out. The better odds are on the way. Dot, dot, dot. I hope. I actually will give this five stars. This person put in a very nice way. I do think it was funny. Like, hey, listen, like I did my affiliate thing and I got more people to play the game. Give me better luck. Come on, bro. But I do think a lot of things said here were valid in how most gotcha players feel whenever like you really enjoy the game, but you are just getting shafted and shafted and shafted because it sucks straight up. That's why like gotcha games at the end of the day, they, they're gotcha games, man. And it is super unfortunate. But what isn't unfortunate is that you have another video that you can watch right here. Yeah, I'll see you over there in that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and have a great day. Bye.